Greetings and welcome to Win Win Life. This is Ken Whelan from Light Reading and today we are glad to have Mr. Zezo Anohi who is Director of TSB which stands for the Telecommunication Standards Bureau at ITU. Now Mr. Anohi is going to share experiences and insights on AI and network from ITUT. We'll be talking about three topics. First, ITUT's contribution to the standard and development of optical network technologies and secondly, how networks and ITUT are embracing the AI era. And finally, we'll discuss what consensus and standards might be promoted for Network 2030. So welcome, Mr. Hanohi. So let's get straight in. With my chat recently from Glenn from the study group 15 of ITUT, which of course is responsible for optical standards, and they have developed many important standards that have been commercially deployed. Can you give two or three examples that have been crucial for the industry? This year marks 40 years since ITU first standardized the single mode optical fiber. We have released a number of key standards. Recent ITU standards support optical transport up to 800 gigabit per second. For optical access, uh, recent ITU standards support fiber to the home at 50 gigabit per second. We are now looking at the next generation of the PON standards up to 100 giga and 200 giga. In addition, we are also developing standards for the in-home fiber networks to create a direct fiber connection to the Wi-Fi access. Okay, thanks for that. Well, the AI era is coming. So as an industry standards organization, how does ITU view the network development trend in the AI era. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are becoming fundamental to our complex network. And the wide variety of the services that our networks support, ITU standards are supporting AI applications in areas including network orchestration, multimedia coding, and optimizing the energy and cost efficiency. So, for the 2030 AI era, how is ITU currently preparing at a standards level, such as hollow core optical fibers, data center optical cross connections, and end to end intelligent network, as well as, of course, ONM? Our standards provide a toolkit to integrate machine learning in future networks, but there are more works to be done. We need to move beyond uh, AI overlays through integration. AI native networks. We have just established a new ITU focus group on exactly this topic. Our focus group are open to all. When I interviewed Clen and Paul, they were talking about a recent workshop hosted by Study Group 15 to discuss optical network standards for IMT 2030. Now, if you look at ITUR, which focuses on radio communications, they have developed an IMT2030 framework for wireless standards. Do you think ITUT will may need to define an optical standard generation for 2030 and develop a corresponding framework in much the same way as ITUR has done for the wireless side? Yeah, actually, I was there in the workshop. Regarding generation, you talked about generation. Mm. But I believe that uh, mobile generation uh, is mobile generation. Optic fibers transport network must evolve independently of the mobile generation. Of course, for the branding or mm. Mm. initiating the, some project, it's very good to define the generation. Not necessarily linked to the yeah. mobile networks, but maybe AI will make that like a generation, mm. a new development yeah. which needs to be standardized and use cases addressed and develop a framework yeah. in that sort yeah. of way. Yeah, of course, uh, ITR defined the IMT 2030, mm. and that defines some uh, requirements, use cases. ITT also have some additional work on the future optical networks. I don't necessarily link to directly to the mobile generation. There might be sort of optical standards generation in parallel, and yeah. has their own yeah, generations. Yeah, yeah. Also, the new generation of transport network yeah. need to take care of the older yes. version of yes. that, That's my point. But that's of right, course, yeah. achieve new generation, it's a very good goal. To yes, we, so that, that would be a standard yeah, 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 focus. Yeah, yeah. 
So under the IMT 2030 framework, ITU-R has coordinated well with 3G PPE, XC and related standards developing organisations in the optical field, such as IEEE and XC, ISG, F5G, BBF and IETF. Do you encourage ITU-T SG15 to work with SDOs to define the generation of optical network and technical standards and promote greater consensus in the industry? Yeah, actually, uh, my one of the priorities are cooperation with other organizations. Single organization cannot do everything, so we need a collaboration framework to maximize the efficiency of standardization process uh, as a whole. We need a collaboration with other uh, organizations. Well, I hope you found um, the meeting with Mr. Noehe very useful. The achievements made by ITUT in the past decades are obvious to all, I think. And uh, looking forward, ITUT is going to be developing more valuable network technology standards in the AI era. And as we've just heard, ITUT will be working very closely with other organizations to define optical standards, gain consensus in the industry and serve society as a whole. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much, Ms. Onehe, for spending the time and giving us all those useful insights. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you, Ken.